to find that job somewhere else, but kind of not happy having to restart at 58 years old. This morning, hundreds of factory workers are facing an uncertain future. What it's like for them as they wait out what could be the final days for the plan. He hit the roundabout and he went straight, you know, and when his trailer hit, you know, the roundabout, it bounced in the air and it came down and then all of a sudden the whole thing started jackknifing. A witness recalling the moment a semi slid off the highway. How that driver is doing this morning. And another morning with some snow that'll be impacting the uh, travel this morning. Good morning, folks. We made it to Friday. It is News 3 now this morning at 6 o'clock. I'm Josh Breider. I'm Chris Stanford. Kelly Slifka with your first warm forecast. We noticed it right away when we stepped out the door this morning just how much cooler it's yeah. cold. it is this morning compared to the last few months. Yeah, we actually cleared out for time last night and we had dry air in place that allowed the temperatures to drop. And now we've got the snow that'll be moving in. So this snow will not be as wet as what we saw yesterday. It won't be that wet sloppy snow. It'll be a lot drier, a little bit fluffier as it comes on in. And it's going to be fairly light and move in fairly quickly, but we're seeing that already starting to move into western parts of Dane County. And you can see, tell on our our future track that it will be affecting the morning commute. It'll be fairly light, but for the uh, morning commute, you might encounter some of those uh, slippery roads, some snow covered roads. We are already getting reports out in the western counties that they, some of the roads are snow covered. So just be aware of that this morning. Do you have an alert day for tomorrow? So this is not for today, but tomorrow and tomorrow night, we're looking at a more significant snow accumulation of two to as much as five inches, and it will be affecting all of southern Wisconsin, at least the southern third of the state. Temperatures are colder this morning. We're in the teens, but we are starting to climb. We have a southerly wind now, and you can see those temperatures off to the west are a little bit milder. Those winds will be up there at about uh, 15 to 25 miles per hour, so that'll be uh, fairly windy today. Temperatures in the teens now. The snow just about uh, here into the Madison area, affecting them more morning commute probably through the noon hour, but it should taper off later this afternoon. We'll talk more about that storm for tomorrow coming up. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Folks, you can track the weather yourself in that incoming snow with real time updates on the free first warn weather and traffic app. Just search for WISC weather wherever you get your apps. We'll take a look at this scary scene from Maryland, uh, McFarland, rather a semi truck overturned near a roundabout Thursday. No one was hurt when the truck slid off of Highway N. There was some debris, though, that caused some lanes to be shut down. Currently, it's still unclear if road conditions played a factor. We spoke with the man who witnessed that crash, and he told us he was able to get the driver out of the truck. Some might call it a heroic act, but Dennis Dempsey says he was just at the right place at the right time. I just happened to be there, and it's just, it's just natural instinct for a human to help other people. Dempsey said he called 911 and offered the driver a jacket and water as others helped. The Dane County Sheriff's Office responded to the scene and then worked to overturn the flipped trailer. An open investigation continues in rural Green Lake County this morning after a body was pulled from the Fox River. Investigators say they found tracks leading to some broken ice and open water. This is in the town of Princeton. Using an underwater camera, first responders found the body. The person has not yet been identified. Everyone, including pets, are accounted for this morning after a house caught fire in Sun Prairie. Broke out in a duplex on Manly Road on Thursday morning just off of Georgia O'Keefe Memorial Highway. Crews say they responded quickly and were able to get that knocked down within about five minutes of getting there. Damage estimates, though, are around $175,000. 6.03 right now, union reps were set up outside of the Portage Energizer plant last night, exactly one week after they claimed Energizer plans to close its facilities in Portage and Fenimore. Our Armand Rahman caught up with one of the employees who shared his concerns about what might happen to him and hundreds of others who've worked there for decades. Uh, disbelief, I mean... That's what John Jerome felt when he and the rest of the Energizer plant in Portage got a message from corporate that they want to consolidate plants. All they did tell you is that maybe this plant is going to close. That's basically what we're getting because they're consolidating and England's got more room than we do. The local Teamsters Union alleges Energizer plans to close their Portage and Fenimore plants and move some operations to a non-union plant in North Carolina and other jobs overseas. I think Energizer's throwing away a lot of valuable assets here. Energizer themselves have been vague, still not confirming the fate of the Fenimore and Portage plants. They're the Wisconsin board company's last two in the state. Once they're closed and Railback Wisconsin's done, I'll have to find our job somewhere else, but it's kind of 
Not happy having to restart at 58 years old. Jerome's worked in maintenance at the Portage plant for 34 years. It could be hard to find a good paying job like these. Like they're good paying jobs here. He says since it opened in the 60s, the plant has been an asset for the rest of the Portage community as well. But I mean, we, so we supply the VA, so we're proud of supplying the Veterans Administration with their batteries and stuff, and that'll be done by a foreign, foreign company. But what hurts most for him is that his roughly 200 co-workers They're all top-notch people. might be out of a job that's powered them through generations. It's kind of a family plant there, you know, people's parents worked here, and now they work here, and their kids are working here, and all of a sudden, now it's all over with, you know. That was Armand Rahman reporting. When we first reported the union's claims last week, Energizer sent us an unsigned statement, which reads in part, Energizer Holdings is in communications with our colleagues and their union uh, re representatives about the future of our Fenimore and Portage facilities in Wisconsin. We'll continue to focus on our colleagues, the people closest to this issue and who matter the most as we work toward a final resolution. Now to the plans for redesigning Lake Monona's waterfront. Three design teams have been working on their ideas for almost four months. Last night, they finally got the chance to present their plans and ask for feedback. Those designs feature everything from beaches and waterfront restaurants to amphitheaters. The project aims at making the lake more accessible, improving water quality, and preserving its history. For me, it's just exciting to see that each of them have been so creative and um, beyond what I would have imagined. Um, it's beyond just putting picnic tables down and hoping people show up. Um, but this is really big and this is really important to Madison. You'll be able to weigh in on the designs. There's an online survey that closes on March 23rd. After that, the committee will make a final recommendation to the Madison City Council in August. Some of those look really nice. Really cool. Yeah, can't wait to see what happens. Well, IBM is the latest tech giant to slash thousands of jobs. The company plans to eliminate some 3,900 positions. That's 1.5% of its global workforce. IBM says the cuts are related to the previously announced spinoff and sale of two business units. And Sam's Club is expanding. Members can uh, expect to see more locations popping up over the next several years. Sam's Club's opening up 30 new spots across the country. The first one's going to be completed in Florida in 2024. The company points to a growth in sales and a record rise in membership as the reasons why. Sam's Club also has a new plan to update and invest in its supply chain. The company says it'll launch five new supply chain fulfillment and distribution centers. New information from Southwest Airlines is they're testing software fixes developed after the Christmas travel meltdown. The airline choosing to upgrade its current crew scheduling software rather than replacing the entire system. The airline and its employees have said the system left Southwest unable to recover from winter storms on some of the busiest travel days of the year. The airline canceling nearly 17,000 flights between December 21st and the 29th. New this morning, a group of teenagers from Wisconsin are going for gold. The Fond du Lac Blades are set to represent the U.S. in a junior synchronized skating competition in France next week. Last year, the Blades completed, uh, competed rather in Austria, earning a bronze medal for the U.S. While that's always the goal, the girls are more focused on making the most out of the experience and the chance to represent their country. Best part of the whole experience is when they say representing the United States of America. It just gives you chills, you know, and I think that is the ultimate excitement that just really gives them that final push to get on the ice and do their best. This will be the Blades' sixth straight season named to Team USA. Yeah, good luck to them. And this morning I've learned that you're more of a glider than a yes. skater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as it may come to a surprise to many of you, I'm not the uh, most graceful of humans. How tall are you again? 6'4". Six, 6'4". Four. Six, four. Yeah. I'm 5'10". So, yeah. I mean, that it does make a difference. The sure, height. I can use that as an excuse. It makes I'll a take difference. It. I'm, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm tall. That's why. <laughs> not uncoordinated. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go out there and we'll give it a try. Oh, 609 man. right now coming up. It is Friday morning, so that means it's almost the weekend in the 608. I'll let you know what's happening across southern Wisconsin. And we're tracking the next round of snow that's on the way when it's going to get here and just how much it'll bring us here in southern Wisconsin.
Ashley's $14 million sell-off is happening now. Millions of dollars worth of product arrived late to our warehouse and must be sold. This is your chance to save as much as 85% while it lasts. Save 55% instantly on this Ashley Sleep Hybrid mattress. Now just $5.99. Only at Ashley. Garage doors do not like the cold weather at all. As soon as it gets cold springs, parts will burn. At Precision, we can fix any make or model, usually the same day. Rain, sleet, or snow, we're good to go. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. A must in your medicine cabinet. Less sick days. Cold coming on? Zycam is the number one cold shortening brand. Highly recommended. Zycam's love Zycam's unique zinc formula. It shortens colds. Zycam Zinc That Cold. Get fresh whole chicken for just 99 cents a pound during Hy-Vee's 99 cent sale this Friday through Sunday. Get products for just 99 cents, like a 12 pack of Marishan ramen noodles, Hy-Vee potato chips, Lunchables, P3, and Hy-Vee cereal for just 99 cents each. Plus, get honey crisp apples for just 99 cents a pound while supplies last. Don't miss Hy-Vee's 99 cent sale this Friday through Sunday. Introducing SAS Sauce and Shells, a bold new restaurant on Madison's Capitol Square. Combining the best of barbecue and shelled seafood by Chef Joe Perkins. Add a little SAS to your lunch or dinner plans today. Open seven days a week. DePaco Credit Union protects your well being, supports you through life's many surprises. Because when our members love life, it makes a brighter community for all. DePaco can help you be well. For over 50 years, Purina Cat Chow has been helping cats feel at home with trusted nutrition. No wonder it's the number one dry cat food in America. Come home to Cat Chow. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. Like our 9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at papamurphys.com. Need life insurance? Select Quote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And Select Quote found his wife Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Select Quote, we shop, you save. Furniture and Appliance Mart's $14 million sell off is happening now. Millions of dollars worth of product arrived late and must be sold. Whirlpool microwaves now just $1.99. A mana washer and dryer pairs now just $9.99. At Furniture and Appliance Mart, inside Ashley off the Beltline in East Springs Drive. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. We're back 612 on a Friday morning. That means it's almost the weekend in the 608. Let's see what's happening around Wisconsin. If you're looking to beat those winter blues this weekend, we have an option for you. The City of Beloit Parks and Recreation Division is holding its annual Winterfest celebration today through Sunday. The weekend will be packed full of family fun. Organizers say there will be plenty of outdoor and indoor activities for everyone, including those who embrace all that winter has to offer and those who dream of living in a much warmer climate. We know there are some of both here in Who would Wisconsin. want to do that? <laughs> Monsters of Destruction is back at the Align Energy Center this weekend. This is a chance to check out some of the most competitive competing monster trucks from across the country right here at home. Monsters of Destruction is happening today through Sunday. Those tickets are still available. The Ahara Fishing Club is hosting Kids Ice Fishing Day on Saturday. This is a free event for the whole family. It's happening at Brittingham Park in Madison from 9 to noon tomorrow. The club will also be giving away free ice fishing rods and reels and a free lunch. You can also always check out other happenings by going to channel3000.com slash in the 608. There's the community calendar in partnership with our friends at Madison Magazine. So plenty of stuff going on. Yeah, and you get some fresh snow if uh, you're headed out to do anything outside this weekend. Take advantage of it. I mean, a lot of snow lovers have been waiting to be able to do some of those things outside. So now's the time. We were bare for so long. You know, Mother Nature's playing a little catch up. And every single day, it's just like, it's always flurry. And that's what every time I looked out, it's like still snowing. I know, and it's coming. We're going to track that here in uh, just a moment. Uh, first, though, we're going to remind you to let Josh know what inspires you. You can reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. 
Check out this video from the Barocco Police Station. It was captured last week in Vernon County. All right, now pay attention to the officer. <laughs> oh, this is my favorite video because it's so relatable. Oh. <laughs> the caption reads, <laughs> Officer Carter Jamison hopes you have a safe and uneventful evening with the forecasted winter storm. I just love how he just walks oh. off like he is just done. Yep. Hopefully that was the <laughs> end of the captain's shift. I would hope so, too. Oh, what a way to Like, you know, that went, like, too. down his back. Like, he is going to be cold. Yeah, that's not, not great. I've got this bush that's right next to my car. Oh, no. And I park it in my driveway, and I, and I bump into this bush now and then. <laughs> and then as soon as I do it, I'm, like, half my body is covered with snow. If we get a nice, fresh <laughs> snowfall. Reminds me of that. i got to trim that thing. got to get out there and Get on that. Maybe in the spring. There you go. There. Well, we're going to be dealing with that again uh, tomorrow. We've got some snow, and this is going to be the good snow. I think the last week or so, it's been that sloppy, wet snow. Really not, nothing you can do in it, but this is going to be some drier, fluffier snow, so some ski lovers are going to like that. Now, for the morning commute, not, most of us are not going to like this with some snow falling. Just as we're headed out the door for work or school this morning, already starting to move into Dane County right now. It's not real heavy, but as has been the case, we do have some light snow. And this will accumulate on the roads because temperatures are colder than what they were yesterday morning. And you can see some of the uh, spreading into a Dane County from Prairie du Sac, Sauk City, uh, starting to move into Middleton, seeing a little bit of flurry activity. It's all due to this storm system. This one will zip on through fairly quickly, mainly only affecting us this morning. And then we'll watch the secondary storm that'll arrive tomorrow that'll bring more widespread snow. We're looking at snow tomorrow of two to five inches and it's going to be a lot colder. So this will be a drier snow, so it'll be fluffy. Sunday will be dry, but it's going to be bitterly cold. So if you want to enjoy the snow, definitely going to have to uh, bundle up this weekend. So we've got the uh, light snow this morning. Any snow accumulation should be less than an inch. Moderate snow moves in tomorrow. It's going to snow all day long, so that'll accumulate to about two to five inches and then much below average temperatures this weekend into uh, next week. Now today with the uh, southerly wind, we're starting off cold, but that southerly wind war will warm us up into the 30s, but it will feel colder because that southwest wind will be up there at 15 to 25. So the snow showers move through this morning. Here we're late morning into the noon hour. Still some flurries moving uh, through the area, but that should end by the late afternoon hours. And we'll see that wind switch around the northwest, and that'll bring us some colder weather. It's uh, Saturday that we're talking about the snow moving in, and it's going to snow all day long. Temperatures in the 18s, so it'll be a dry, fluffy snow, and probably not moving out until the late evening hours before we start to see improvement. Winter weather advisories for Grant County already tomorrow night. So uh, fall in the morning, not too much, but as we go through the afternoon, it will pick up and we'll look at uh, widespread two to as much as five inches. So we have the alert day for tomorrow. It's going to be impactful all day long into the evening, drier Sunday, but turning bitterly cold early next week. All right, Kelly Slipka, thank you very much. Here's sports director Zach Hanley with your morning sports. For the seventh straight year, Giannis is an NBA All-Star. The Milwaukee big man was named a starter for this year's game, and because he got the most fan votes in the Eastern Conference, he's once again a captain. Giannis also made some history in the process, passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most All-Star selections in Bucks franchise history. The All-Star reserves will be announced next Thursday. The game is set for February 19th. High school girls hoops Verona hosting Beaver Dam in a big non-conference battle. And as expected, this was a slugfest. Gabby Wilkie banks it home for two of her team high 13 points to make it a one-point game. But the Wildcats always had an answer. Taylor Stremlo hits Paige Lamb down low, and she goes to work. Ten first half points for her. She finished with 14. Verona goes on to win 48 to 42. On the boys' side, Wisconsin Dells taking on Watoma with the top spot in the South Central Conference on the line. Chiefs down one, but not for long. Taylor Netter dials one up from deep to put the Dells up two, and their lead would grow. Later in the first half, it's Jared Nevar. He's going to spin and win on down low on the baseline, and the Dells go on to win 79-57 to sit alone at the top of the SEC. Sugar River Wrestling is fresh off a Capital Cell Dual Championship, but winning titles isn't the only reason Peter Swenson's part of the program. His why has three parts, and it's something he and his Raiders take to heart. Keep it tight to your body. Before his team steps out onto the mat, Nice job. Peter Swenson offers up a reminder. Before every single practice and every single tournament, he has his piece of paper, and he'll read one inspirational quote. It's a grueling sport. Um, so 
helping maintain a focus of you know why we're here. Sugar Rivers why? Maybe it's the ride to practice. Is a three-part answer. To work hard. Fast pace now, fast pace. To help each other out. Driving, driving. And to have fun. Time! The first part is easy. We gotta put in the work to go places and that's what we want to do as a team. And the Raiders know they need each other. It is an individual sport when you're out on the mat, but during the practice times, we can really help each other out by asking the most out of each other. As far as the fun, Swenson's got that cup. Very good, very good, very good. Makes a lot of jokes. Not always the greatest jokes, but... Yeah, I, I it just, I think once you get to a certain age, they just kick in. And his why... Minute go! ...is a combination of all three. He's always making sure people are going to be able to achieve what he, what they're capable of doing. And he's one of the people that are like, I want you to do the best that you can through your whole entire life. How you feeling? Swenson works hard to help his team succeed in life. Getting them better? If they can take something away from this chapter to help them be successful later on, I think that's that's a great calling that I, I'm so grateful that I'm in an opportunity to help somebody out with that. And that's the fun part. Here's that position we just worked on. Where do we go? Back to you. Thanks, Zach. Coming up, Netflix is cracking down on password sharing. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Call for action only on News 3 Now. Cobus and Buses, now hiring. My name is Mike Williams. I've been driving school bus off and on for 21 years. Here at our terminal, we're kind of like a family, too. Somebody has an issue with a bus, other people kick in and help and get the job done. Spark inspiration at the Build and Remodel Expo. Chat with local experts showcasing the latest innovations in home building and remodeling. Browse kitchen, bath, and new home construction trends. Visit buildremodelexpo.com for more information. The biggest and best RV event in the Midwest is back. It's the Madison Camper and RV Show and Sale. See a huge selection of RVs, camping equipment, and campgrounds all under one roof. Meet Gilbert Brown, Gridiron Great. Tickets are just $10 and kids are free. Seniors, you're welcome at half price on Friday. Experience the great outdoors at the Alliant Energy Center Friday through Sunday, February 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Get an Escape, Edge, or Explorer SUV with 0% APR financing for 36 months, only at your Wisconsin and UP4 dealers. Low E has hurt my ability to perform. He hasn't been able to make the bed in years. Now there's hope. Now through January 31st, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime, and turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023 in a clean and spacious, judgment-free zone with tons of equipment to get you energized. Low E, not for me. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel anytime. Deal ends Tuesday, January 31st. Bob's presents 2023 Furniture Resolutions. Resolution number 44, exercise more. Exercise Exercise your right to snooze in a gorgeous bedroom at an affordable price like my fusion two-tone bedroom. Exercise your right to style with two fantastic color options, sleek storage, and thoughtful finishes. Exercise your right to snuggle in bed with a book with my optional bookcase headboard and cozy reading light. Phew, that was a lot of exercise. Bob's Discount Furniture. Furniture solutions to your resolutions. When pain says I'm here, I say, so are they. Just want to leave. 12 hours of uninterrupted pain relief. A leave. Who do you take it for? Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobison.com to apply. Everyone say hi to Doug. <laughs> Hi, Doug. Hey, Doug. <laughs> Where's your pants? <laughs> yeah. uh, this is Oregon Middle School. Guy custodian Doug here, doing the Lord's work, getting out there and salting the sidewalks before the, the kiddo showed up. Wisconsin picture. Don't you love that? A guy in a shorts taking care of the snow. Love that. 
Uh, if you want to share your morning with us, use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media. So uh, Netflix is taking another crack at cracking down on passwords. You guys know anyone who shares passwords? Oh, nobody. Nobody, Nobody. Right? nobody. <laughs> Guilty has charged here. Yeah, so uh, the company's trying to save face here, and they, they don't like it when you share the passwords because that means they're not getting the money, right? So they're going to start blocking subscribers from sharing passwords with people outside of their household. This is said to be happening in the coming months. They do plan on rolling out a paid sharing plan. They have a pilot program that's similar to this in Latin America where subscribers can add a sub account for an additional three bucks a month. Netflix says it does realize that some people may cancel because of this, but it expects that borrower households activating their own accounts will then counterbalance the revenue that they lose. I'm curious about that family plan, because I know like I've done that before on Spotify, where you can do the family account and then share between however many people and oh, then split sure. it that way. But it's like, that's the hard thing is like, Netflix, I mean, all these streaming platforms have become more expensive than what they used to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you have to have an individual account for all these things, like that's gonna add up. You might as well have cable or satellite at that point, because you're already gonna be spending a lot of money. But I think a lot about the, the kids who, you know, they live at home and they have the Netflix and then they, you know, maybe go on to college or they move out and they do other things and they stay on the Netflix account for yeah. years and years and years. <laughs> you know, those might be the people that they're after. And hey. I mean, what, what happens like if you, if you leave the house and say you're at like a hotel or something and you want to log in there, right. do you need a Just shared account for that? I have so many questions. A lot of questions, not a lot of answers. All right, so we'll see what Netflix does here. Uh, one thing we know for certain this morning, Kelly, is we're going to get some more snow. Yeah, it is already starting to move into Madison here, so some lighter snow affecting the morning commute, but uh, another storm tomorrow as well. All right, we'll track it all coming up right here on News 3 Now this morning. <clears throat> News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Spa, spa, spas. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is coming this weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Rose and Rose of Spas, Hot Tubs, and Swim Spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in stock models. This weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. So I just started this new trapeze class and... Whoa, the new iPhone is here. I know, right? The ultimate iPhone. You a cellular paid for mine and I was already a customer. The new iPhone is here. Right, and you'd be smart to get it at US Cellular. They have price protection, so you know your rate won't go up. Now, new and current customers can get the amazing iPhone 14 Pro or any iPhone on us. Okay, I'll just wait here and watch your donut. At US Cellular, where every plan is price protected. DePaco Credit Union protects your well-being, supports you through life's many surprises. Because when our members love life, it makes a brighter community for all. DePaco can help you be well. This ring is a commitment. After we got married, I got very sick. He will come every day to help me walk again. And now I'm back. This is a reminder that love endures all. Express your extraordinary love. Jared, love brilliantly. Add style to any room with Armstrong Flooring from Menards. Adiamo offers durable, self-adhering vinyl tile that performs beautifully in high traffic areas, while its limited lifetime warranty gives you an extra sense of security. Adiamo 12x12 vinyl tiles are just $139 each. Show off your new flooring with Sylvania Recessed Lighting. Its ultra-thin design fits flush against the surface, making it quick and easy to install. Get a recessed Sylvania Lighting for just $19.99 at Menards. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. Call today for free information. 
Call 800-550-5543. Spa, spa, spa. The Swim Spa Hot Tub and Sauna Show is coming this weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Rose and Rose of Spas, Hot Tubs, and Swim Spas. The largest display in the state. Save up to 60% on all in-stock models. This weekend only at the Arena at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. I'll have to find that job somewhere else, but kind of not happy having to restart at 58 years old. This morning, hundreds of factory workers facing an uncertain future. What it's like for them as they wait out what could be their final days at the plant. He hit the roundabout and he went straight, you know, and when his trailer hit, you know, the roundabout, it bounced in the air and it came down and then all of a sudden the whole thing started jackknifing. A witness recalling the moment a semi slid off the highway. How that driver is doing this morning. And we've got more snow that'll be affecting the morning commute and another more significant storm tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Breider. We start with Kelly Slifka once again, tracking some more snow and then the cold, although it is cold out there this morning. It, it has been a lot colder than it's been, and the snow that's moving in now is not going to be that sloppy, wet snow that we had yesterday morning um, made for kind of a mess, a slushy mess. This is going to be a lot drier snow, so that'll be a, a lot lighter. Right now, it is starting to move into the Madison area. You can just see it extends all the way toward the Iowa-Minnesota border, so we've got several hours of this, I would say, until about noon, 1 o'clock. We can expect some light snow showers on and off. Now, taking a look at our future track, well, the snow is already here, but it will continue for the morning commute as uh, some of the roads might get a little bit slick, uh, maybe a little bit snow covered because once again, a lot of this is not going to melt on contact. That's not the storm we're talking about for our alert day. That's tomorrow, and that's when we're expecting some significant snow of about two to five inches affecting all of southern Wisconsin, at least the southern third of the state. While you go north of there into central Wisconsin, once you get north of the Dells, very little snow expected up there. Meantime, we've got temperatures in the teens, as Josh mentioned. It is colder this morning, but noticing some warmer air off to the west. That's going to be moving in. It is breezy, though, with that south wind up there at about 10 to 15. So temperatures right now in the teens. We already have some light snow reported at the airport. South winds up there at 14. Light snow will continue right into the noon hour. We'll talk more about that storm that will be affecting us this weekend coming up. Sounds good, Kelly. You can track the storm yourself, folks. With the News 3 Now First Warn Weather and Traffic app. It is free. Just search WIAC Weather wherever you get your apps. Take a look at this scary scene near McFarland. A semi-truck overturned on a roundabout. No one was hurt. It slid off of Highway N. Debris from the truck did close down some lanes for a time. It is unclear this morning if road conditions played a factor. We spoke with the man who witnessed that crash, and he told us he was able to get the driver out of the truck. Some are calling him a hero, but Dennis Dempsey says he was just at the right place at the right time. I just happened to be there, and it's just, it's just natural instinct for a human to help other people. Dempsey tells us he called 911 and offered the driver a jacket and water as others helped. The Dane County Sheriff's Office responded to the scene and then worked to overturn that trailer. An open investigation continues in rural Green Lake County this morning after a body was pulled from the Fox River. Investigators say they found tracks leading to some broken ice and open water. This all happened in the town of Princeton. Using an underwater camera, first responders found the body in the river. The person's not yet been identified. Everyone, including pets, are accounted for this morning after this home caught fire in Sun Prairie. It broke out on a duplex on Manly Road just off of Georgia O'Keeffe Memorial Highway Thursday. Crews say they responded quickly and were able to get everything knocked down within about five minutes of getting there. Damage estimates, though, are around $175,000. 6.33 this morning, Union reps were set outside of the Portage Energizer plant last night, exactly one week after they claimed Energizer plans to close its facilities in Portage and Fenimore. Our Armand Rahman caught up with one of the employees who shared his concern about what might happen to him and hundreds of others who've worked there for decades. Uh, disbelief, I mean. That's what John Jerome felt when he and the rest of the Energizer plant in Portage got a message from corporate that they want to consolidate plants. All they did tell you is that maybe this plant is going to close. That's basically what we're getting because they're consolidating and England's got more room than we do. The local Teamsters Union alleges Energizer plans to close their Portage and Fenimore plants and move some operations to a non-union plant in North Carolina and other jobs overseas. I think Energizer's throwing away a lot of valuable assets here. 
Energizer themselves have been vague, still not confirming the fate of the Fenimore and Portage plants. They're the Wisconsin Board Company's last two in the state. Once they're closed and Railback Wisconsin's done, I'll have to find our job somewhere else, but it's kind of not happy having to restart at 58 years old. Jerome's worked in maintenance at the Portage plant for 34 years. It'll be hard to find a good paying job like these. Like they're good paying jobs here. He says since it opened in the 60s, the plant has been an asset for the rest of the Portage community as well. But I mean, we, so we supply the VA, so we're proud of supplying the Veterans Administration with their batteries and stuff, and that will be done by a foreign, foreign company. But what hurts most for him is that his roughly 200 co-workers They're all top-notch people. might be out of a job that's powered them through generations. It's kind of a family plant there, you know, people's parents worked here, and now they work here, and their kids are working here, and all of a sudden, now it's all over with, you know. That was Armand Robin reporting. When we first reported the union's claims last week, Energizer sent us an unsigned statement reading in part, Energizer Holdings is in communications with our colleagues and their union representatives about the future of our Fenimore and Portage facilities in Wisconsin. We'll continue to focus on our colleagues, the people closest to the issue and who matter the most as we look forward toward a final resolution. 635 right now. This morning we have the plans for reassigning Lake Monona's waterfront. Three design teams have been working on their ideas for almost four months. Last night they finally got their chance to present the plans and ask for feedback. The designs feature everything from beaches and waterfront restaurants to amphitheaters. The project aims at making the lake more accessible, improving water quality and preserving its history. For me it's just exciting to see that each of them have been so creative in um, beyond what I would have imagined. Um, it's beyond just putting picnic tables down and hoping people show up. Um, but this is really big and this is really important to Madison. You have the chance to weigh in on the designs in an online survey right now. That closes on March 23rd. After that, the project's committee will make a final recommendation to the Madison City Council in August. New this morning at 636, a group of teenagers from Wisconsin are going for gold. The Fond du Lac blades are set to represent the United States in a junior synchronized skating competition in France next week. Last year, the blades competed in Austria, earning a bronze medal for the U.S. While that is always a goal, the U.S. or the girls are more focused on making the most of the experience and the chance to represent their country best part of the whole experience is when they say representing the United States of America. It just gives you chills, you know, and I think that is the ultimate excitement that just really gives them that final push to get on the ice and do their best. This will be the Blades' sixth straight season named to Team USA. Good luck, ladies. It's always cool when we have locals competing in something as big as that. I mean, Team USA, that is honor. huge. A lot of pressure. Six years in a row representing uh, the USA on a big stage like this. Uh, hopefully, uh, you know, all that experience, you know, serves them well this uh, next week. Wishing them well. Wow. Yeah. 637 is your time coming up. It is Friday morning. We've been waiting for the end of the week, and that means it's almost the weekend in the 608. I'll let you know what's happening across southern Wisconsin. And uh, the big story of the morning, we have some more snow, a few inches of it on the way, when it'll start, and just how much we'll get. Coming up in Kelly's first warm forecast. Save fresh perks, it's easy to get lower than low prices for the win. Earn fuel points on every purchase and save up to a dollar a gallon at the pump. With pick and save fuel points, all you do is win big, big savings. Pick and save fresh for everyone. Hey, I just got a text from my sister. You remember Rick, her neighbor? Sure, he's the 76 year old guy who still runs marathons, right? Sadly, not anymore. What? You mean... Mm-hmm. Just like that. Wow. So sudden. Um, we're not about to have the we need life insurance conversation again, are we? No, we're having the we're getting coverage so we don't have to worry about it conversation. So you're calling about the nine ninety five a month plan from Colonial Pen? I am. We put it off long enough. We are getting that nine ninety five plan today. Is it time for you to call about the nine ninety five plan? I'm Jonathan from Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. Sometimes we just need a reminder not to take today for granted. It could be the death of someone you know or a health scare. That's why today could be a great day to call for free information about Colonial Pen's 995 plan. 
If you're age 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance starting at just $9.95 a month. There are no health questions, so you can't be turned down for any health reason. This is permanent coverage. Just pay your premiums for lifelong security. The 995 plan is Colonial Penn's number one most popular whole life plan. Options start at just $9.95 a month. That's less than 35 cents a day. Your rate can never go up. It's locked in for life. Don't put it off. Take the first easy step. Call today for free information. And you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. So call now. Call 1-800-290-3399 for your free information and free gift. That's 1-800-290-3399. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-290-3399. 1-800-290-3399. Call now. Hello, Colonial Pen. With the Pick and Save app, no matter where you order free pickup, you get the same great deals as you'd get in our stores. So start your cart today. Whenever, wherever. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. I've been dreaming of this for like over 20 years. And with no more experience than a love for walking, she hit the trail. You're like, oh my gosh, what in the world have I gotten into? In a News 3 Now exclusive, Armin Rahman traces a local woman's trek up the world's highest freestanding mountain. Oh my God, that was a little bit scary. What she learned about herself and her advice to others who dream big. From Monona to Kilimanjaro. Sunday on News 3 Now at 10. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. on your Friday morning. It is almost the weekend in the 608. Let's see what's happening around southern Wisconsin. Resorts and lodges, cabins and cottages. Wisconsin has it all. We know that. And here's a chance to get a little taste of the lake life this weekend. The Lake Home and Cabin Show is back at the Align Energy Center this weekend. This is an opportunity for great new products, expert advice, and fresh ideas. Now in its 19th year, the Cabin Show has become an annual tradition for those who love the activities and lifestyle of cabin country. Frozen Assets presents Night Ice 2023 happening Saturday night from 5 to 9. This is at the Edgewater Hotel. Organizers are inviting you to chill out on the Grand Plaza and ice rink for an outdoor party. And this is pretty neat. It's going to feature Milwaukee Bucks official DJ and producer DJ Shauna live in the booth overlooking Lake Mendota. Also happening this weekend, the Cabin Fever Fest in Dodge County. This is the 14th year for that event in Beaver Dam. Organizers say it's a great way to get out of the house and enjoy fun all around town. There are various activities indoors and outdoors on Saturday from 10 in the morning until 10 at night. Remember, you can always check out other happenings by going to channel3000.com. Just click on the In the 608 section. We also have the community calendar in partnership with our friends over at Madison Magazine. With the fresh snow, a lot of people are going to be out uh, taking advantage of that, I'm sure. You know, we didn't have the snow for so long that any of those folks that wanted to do the cross-country skiing or the snowshoeing weren't able to do that, and now we have it, so yeah, take advantage of, of it. Yeah. This week. It's supposed to be nice and light and fluffy when it gets here, too. Thanks, Josh. Hey, uh, he is always looking for in the 608 ideas, so reach out to him on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. All right, 642. Let's get to Kelly Slifka tracking that fresh snow. Some of it already moving in this morning. Yeah, it is already moving in this morning. And the snow that we're going to get, especially tomorrow, is going to be the good snow, I like to call it, because it's nice, dry, and fluffy. Really good snow for cross-country skiing or snowshoeing. Uh, right now, we have some lighter snow moving into the uh, Madison area. You can see it's uh, fairly widespread across western areas of the state. Already getting some snow-covered and slippery conditions here out west. And this is that drier snow, so we'll stick to the roads, even though yesterday we had the wet roads because it was so mild. Mild. This morning is quite a bit colder, so this will be a drier, fluffier snow as well. Already starting to see this move into the uh, Madison area on the west side from uh, Mount Horeb over toward Black Earth, then up toward DeForest. Right now, downtown looks quiet, but you can expect at least some flurries to move in fairly quickly. I'll do this fast moving storm that'll zip on through pretty quickly. 
Once it moves through, it's going to usher in some much colder weather tonight going into tomorrow. So we're looking at just some lighter snow today, maybe up to an inch. I think most of us less than that. Tomorrow it's going to snow all day and it's going to accumulate fairly quickly. So by the evening, we're looking at a widespread two to five inches. A pretty sharp cutoff, though, of areas to the north won't see as much. Much below average temperatures expected this weekend into early next week. So the snow moves through this morning into the early afternoon hour here at the noon hour. Still some snow showers. Temperatures in the lower 30s. But then we have that northwest wind behind the front that will bring us much colder weather. But it should be dry this evening, tonight, but by tomorrow morning. Here we're watching the snow move out of the plains really quickly across southern Minnesota, northern Iowa. And that band of snow hitting the southern third of the state right through the afternoon into the early evening. Then it should move on out and then the cold winds kick in on the back side of it. So how much snow are we expecting? You can see that this narrow band of three to six inches hitting the Madison area into northern Illinois. Not as much up to the north. In fact, once you get north of the Dells, maybe an inch or so, and that should be about it. Winter weather advisory is already in effect for parts of Grant County. So we got the lighter snow today, upwards of an inch. Tomorrow, though, we're talking about uh, the alert day of three or two to five inches of snow, fairly widespread, and then it's just going to turn really cold in the early parts of next week. All right, Kelly, thank you. 645 right now. So if you ever had or seen those ads that seem tailored to your private conversations and wondered, why is my phone listening to me? It happens all the time. Our Braden Ross spoke with a cybersecurity expert to answer that question and show you some ways to protect yourself and your privacy. Hey Siri, is my phone listening to me? It's an experience almost anyone with a smartphone can relate to. You're talking with a friend about a product you want to buy. Then you open your favorite social media app and see an ad for that very same thing. So does this mean your phone is listening to you? Or is there a different explanation? Short answer is yes, they are. Um, and usually it's to give you the services that you want to use every day. Information security manager at Madison College, Jesse LaGrue, says if you let it, your phone is only typically listening for keywords like Hey Siri or Alexa that trigger data collection. They're listening for keywords so that they can fulfill our desires or what we're asking of them. But targeted ads that seem like they come from your private conversations are likely popping up for a different reason. I did my own experiment. I think I want to buy a new camera. For the last five days, I talked to my phone about cameras, something I've never searched before. Digital camera, film camera, Polaroid camera. Then I scrolled through my social media apps and nothing about cameras. But then I spent 10 minutes searching for rain boots, something else I've never searched for. After five minutes of scrolling on Instagram, I saw 20 ads for boots. LaGrue says this is because it's keeping track of you in other ways, like your Google searches and clicks. That's really the question everyone kind of needs to ask themselves. If somebody knew your profile and exactly all of these data points, would you have a concern? And if so, it might be worth thinking about removing that risk. He says there are things you can do to keep your phone from collecting this data and using your camera or microphone when you don't want it to. Here's what to do. If you don't need it, delete it. Pay attention to the permissions that they're asking for. And if you don't think it needs it, disable that or maybe don't install the application. So turning off Siri, going through settings to turn off microphone access, that's the best way to ensure your private conversations stay private. For News 3 Now, I'm Braden Ross. That's Boy, it's kind of Canadian. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's a deep rabbit hole you can go down with that kind of stuff. You can head to channel3000.com for more steps to take. Uh, you can tech. You can take to protect. You can take to protect. You try to say that five times fast. That's a lot. To protect your privacy. Siri, help us talk. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it didn't even yeah. it didn't even do voice it. lessons. <laughs> 647 coming up in the morning sprint. Another direct flight to our nation's capital out of Madison. We'll be right back. First, though, we want to say happy birthday to Zuri and all the kiddos turning three today. Happy birthday. Thanks for celebrating with us. We'll be right back. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. A prosecutor, now circuit court judge, Janet Protasewicz. On the Supreme Court, I'll be a common sense judge. I'll protect public safety. I believe in a woman's freedom to make her own decision on abortion. It's time for a change. Our craftsmen begin each day perfectly seasoning our Hillshire Farm smoked sausage so that you can end each day crafting a perfectly delicious dinner. Hillshire Farm, made right on the farm. 
outdoors are just like us. They don't like the cold weather. But if it breaks, Precision Garage Door is always ready. We always show up in a fully stocked vehicle so we can get the job done today. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Summer's coming, and so are those warm, relaxing weekends. No matter where your adventures take you, we've got you covered at the new Lake Home and Cabin Show, January 27th through 29th at the Alliant Energy Center in Madison. Whether you're staying at a vacation rental, towing a teardrop trailer to sleep under the stars, or heading to a beloved family cabin, you'll find everything for your getaway lifestyle at the Lake Home and Cabin Show, January 27th through 29th, Alliant Energy Center. Every weekend should be this fun. A new day boutique, modern and chic women's clothing, jewelry, shoes, and accessories in a unique one-stop shop. Stop in today, East Johnson Street, Madison. Arby's, two for seven bucks. Every day, that big crispy boy can barely fit on the bun. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. I'm a Vegas hotel. I know what you're thinking. It's cool. I don't want anything too serious either. Just a fun, spontaneous thing. I'm looking for someone who will let loose. Dress up a little. See a show. Order the steak and the lobster. Some people say I'm excessive, but who cares? I'm just looking for a Saturday to remember and a Sunday by the pool. Think you can keep up? Get fresh whole chicken for just 99 cents a pound during Hy-Vee's 99 cent sale this Friday through Sunday. Get products for just 99 cents, like a 12-pack of Marishan ramen noodles, Hy-Vee potato chips, Lunchables, P3, and Hy-Vee cereal for just 99 cents each. Plus, get honey crisp apples for just 99 cents a pound while supplies last. Don't miss Hy-Vee's 99 cent sale this Friday through Sunday. I'm voting for Judge Janet Protasiewicz for Supreme Court. She believes in our freedom to make our own decisions when it comes to abortion. Extremists want to ban abortion. Even in cases of rape and the health of the mother. Judge Janet Protasiewicz is the change Wisconsin needs. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Sprint. 6.51, time for the morning sprint. Dane County Regional Airport says uh, that's a false start. It's a flag <laughs> on us. So, so we replayed it down or lost it down. Okay, here we go. Uh, it'll be adding another direct flight option to the nation's capital. It's already got one to Reagan International through Delta. This new one is going to add a second through American. Flights will start in June. Tickets are already available. A jury has found a 24-year-old man guilty of a dozen felony charges after shooting at Madison police officers. Officers. A jury found Singleton Smith Harston guilty of all 12 charges he faced stemming from the January 2022 incident, including two counts of attempted first degree intentional homicide. Smith Harston was wanted along with 24 year old Cameron Smith in connection with multiple armed robberies. A 34 year old man facing tentative charges after a shooting in rural Iowa County Wednesday night. This is an update to breaking news we brought you yesterday morning. Deputies say a female was taken to the hospital and is still in critical condition. It happened in the town of Wyoming and investigators say it was an isolated incident. Milwaukee police say an armored truck employees were robbed at gunpoint on the city's northwest side. It happened right outside of North Shore Bank Thursday and more than $100,000 were stolen. Nearby a short time later, police and the FBI did respond to an apartment complex and confirmed it was relation to that robbery. So far, no official word on if any arrests have been Made. Preliminary results are out on an independent autopsy commission for the family of Tyree Nichols. Nichols died after being taken into police custody during a traffic stop in Memphis, Tennessee earlier this month. According to the autopsy results, Nichols suffered extensive bleeding caused by a severe beating. Police have said that Nichols complained of heavy shortness of breath following confrontations with officers. Nichols died in the hospital three days later. Five police officers and two members of the city's fire department have been fired 
in the wake of Nichols' death. In response to that, Georgia's governor has declared a state of emergency. That move allows him to mobilize the National Guard. Up to 1,000 troops will be sent to the Atlanta area to keep expected protests in the city peaceful. Last weekend, protests turned violent when a police car was set on fire and windows and buildings were broken. A federal judge has convicted Seifalo Sigpov of all 28 counts for New York's deadliest terror attack since 9-11. He drove a rented truck down a bike path in New York City in 2017, killing eight pedestrians in the name of the ISIS terrorist group. For each of those victims, his conviction includes a count of capital murder in aid of racketeering activity and assault with a dangerous weapon. The police body cam footage showing the attack on Paul Pelosi will be released today. Police say the husband of former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was asleep in his home on October 28th when David DePop allegedly broke in and attacked him with a hammer. DePop has been charged with attempted murder. Pelosi says her husband needs several more months of rehab. President Joe Biden may visit Europe next month to mark the one-year anniversary of Russia's invasion into Ukraine. Two senior administration officials say the president's considering a trip to Poland, a key NATO ally that houses thousands of U.S. troops. It's also where American service members train Ukrainian forces. An official says Biden probably won't go to Ukraine because of security reasons. The National Archives is calling on former president and vice presidents from the last six administrations to verify that no classified materials are in their files. It comes as President Biden, former President Trump, and former VP Mike Pence all had classified documents in their possession. A source tells CBS News that Trump discouraged aides from preparing to move out, so Pence's team didn't start packing until after the Capitol riot. We have an important programming note. CBS is carrying live coverage of the PGA Farmers Insurance Golf Tournament this afternoon that starts at 4 o'clock. That means live at 4 and news three now at 5 and 6 are being shifted to our sister station, Television Wisconsin. That's digital channel 3.2 over the air. You can also find the newscast on channel 14 on DirecTV and channel 605 on Charter. We'll stream them on channel 3000 and channel 3000 plus streaming devices. All right, we do have the alert day. This goes into effect actually tomorrow, even though we will see a little bit of snow this morning. But um, the main effect will be tomorrow, tomorrow night, where we'll see a total accumulation of about two to five inches. So that's the most significant snow we've seen since December. That'll be affecting all of southern Wisconsin tomorrow. This morning, we're seeing some lighter snow moving into the Madison area. It's been light and not accumulating real quickly, and it's light and fluffy. It's not the heavy, wet stuff that we saw yesterday. We'll see that for the morning commute. Some of the roads might get a little bit uh, snow covered at times through the morning hours. This should be moving out early this afternoon. Mild, mild this afternoon as we go in the low 30s, but then we'll start to really see some colder weather later today, tonight. So the snow will taper off through the early afternoon hours as temperatures start to tumble. Later tonight, we'll see that snow move in tomorrow morning, continuing all day with that alert day. We're looking at widespread two to five inches of snow turning much colder into next week. Overnight lows could be dipping below zero. We do moderate by the end of the week back in the 20s. All right, Kelly, thank you. We're back with a live update at 726. Make it a great day and have a wonderful weekend.